What's going on guys and welcome to the channel Pete's Carport. Today we're going to be taking a look at the 2007 Volkswagen Passat I just picked up and uh, working on one of the first um, problems that we have which is a very simple problem, a very common issue and that is um, your vacuum line that is going from here to here that's made of plastic. Uh, this one cracked the owner prior to me or somebody tried to tape it and it's throwing engine codes So the good news is I picked this car up because of the engine codes um, I just took it up to velocity the new owner there uh, Ran some scans and said most of those codes that are coming up if not all of them are coming from this So we're gonna go ahead and run down to the store pick up some things and get started on this. There are many ways to fix this, but we're gonna pick one and go from there. Um, you could even replace the part completely for very cheap. You can order it online, uh, but we're gonna repair the one that we have and get it working today. And take a look at this car. Isn't she awesome? Love my Mercedes S500. Alrighty guys, let's go ahead and get started. to advanced auto I'm trying to spend very little on this because I might as well just buy the new part if we're gonna spend a lot of money but um, I picked up this one and chose for maybe a dollar something and some hose clamps for another dollar something so like under five bucks for that I had this lying around um, and what I'm gonna use this for is this is a uh, fast drying silicone and I'm gonna put it up in these grooves here and when we slide the hose on there it's gonna just uh, give a create a better seal um, this does uh, fit on there pretty snugly so nicely uh, We're gonna slide it all the way down and clamp it on this harder part here And we're gonna fill in this whole section with that silicone and that's gonna create um, a better air flow uh, We're not gonna have anything kind of seeping through here and creating codes um, And throwing the check engine light again, so let's go ahead and get that set up and um, try to get it put in Alrighty guys, so after a small failure, basically there was still a little leak, I realized um, we we're going to have to take off the plastic hosing here. I'll show you a little bit more on the other piece. It's a little hard to see on here. There's a two T20 uh, screws. I already took out one up here and one underneath here. You're going to have to take the cable off, obviously. And then this kind of slides out funky, but it's not difficult. You just got to basically, um, let's see here, you got to turn it while you're pulling it out and there's a little hose attached oh, you know what I might need to turn it the other way yep yeah so you're basically just gonna twist it a little bit this way and pull out and you'll see here what the piece looks like all right I'm gonna show you over here how I'm taking off this entire hard plastic shell and that's what cracked on it and um, you can see here after putting the silicone on there I was able to basically get all of it off of this side um, I chewed a little bit up here, but now we're going to be able to get a nice tight fitting hose on there um, Some smaller clamps and uh, we're not going to have that leak. I was getting a leak because if you look at The hose that I picked up we couldn't get the smaller hose to fit over that other one Just see how loose that is so when we tighten up we're getting little air gaps And so we're gonna go ahead and fix that now this should be nice and, and fixed up basically brand new and uh, We're just gonna measure uh, the pipe that we made, we're going to make it just a hair longer because I, I ended up cutting it down and it was just a little bit shorter than I wanted. Now that we have both pieces out, which is probably how I should have done it from the beginning, we're going to be able to get it all together and then slide it back in um, and we should be good to go. So let's go ahead down now and get our new hoses. Um, this is a one inch, so I'm guessing three quarter inch is going to fit over this and I'll fill you guys okay, in on So that. went down to the store, three quarter inch pipe is the perfect hose. Um, this is heater hose I got from Advance Auto, about a dollar, so super cheap fix is going to be here. Uh, now we don't have to worry about running any silicone. Uh, I'm probably going to cut that part out, but basically um, I tried to keep the broken piece of hose that was on there. And what happened was when I started tightening up clamps, it was so brittle, uh, it was still allowing air to, to get through. So I went ahead and removed each piece, which this piece is going to slide right in there. And like I said earlier, it's got two T20 Torx screws. Um, you're going to take off the wire here that basically sends a signal to the computer. I've got about a foot of hose. You need nowhere near that. You probably need about three inches. But I'm going to mock it up. I'm going to go ahead and cut it. We're going to slide the other piece on, tighten our clamp, and we should be good to go. So let's go ahead and get set up doing that. 
Alrighty guys, so I got everything replaced and uh, everything nice and tight and buttoned up. Of course you could cut these straps, you can paint them black if you'd like to, uh, but you can see that fits in there nicely. Uh, it looks like it's about three inches, but I just mocked it up, cut it with a razor blade, cut a little bit big and then trimmed it down, got it in there real nice and snug. This popped in real nicely and this uh, fits in there real nicely. Now here's where I'm having a small issue. When I start the car up, I'm hearing a hissing noise and I was thinking it was still coming from here, but I went and double checked, took everything back apart, made sure there was no cracks in the plastic and nothing was there. So I just kept feeling around and eventually I noticed this little hole right here. And as soon as I put my finger over it, the hissing went away. Now it almost seems like uh, that is something that's supposed to be there. Obviously I don't think somebody would have drilled the little hole. The only thing I can think of is um, there was something protecting the air from escaping there on the inside of this uh, that came loose. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to start it up, show you guys if any of you know what that is, if that's supposed to be there, if that's not supposed to be leaking, uh, what that possibly is. Please fill me in. Um, right now I did uh, remove all my check engine lights, had uh, velocity do that, so I'm hoping nothing comes back up. But I'm going to go ahead and show you guys that now. Alright, so good news is the car starts up very nicely, idles extremely nice, but as you can see, you hear that noise, and then as soon as I put my finger over it, it goes away, and the car does um, idle a little low and then goes right back to normal, and I'm thinking, obviously, once you, whenever you take away an air leak, your car's going to try to adjust, so uh, if any of you guys know what that is, if I need to get that um, sealed off or what I need to do, please fill me in. This is a 3.6 um, Volkswagen Passat engine. And that's right where the uh, hole is going to be replaced in. And it connects right into that box. And I'm not even sure exactly what that box contains or what's for. But go ahead and fill me in. Thank you guys once again. My name's Pete. This is Pete's Carport. Hopefully this helped one of you guys out there that needed to fix that vacuum leak.